Hello, it's Mike from Side Order Catering. I've um, today I've got, I was looking through some um, some videos on my phone, and um, a couple of weeks back, or three maybe three or four weeks ago, the farm shop did a, a mystery box cooking challenge, which I took part in. Uh, I started filming um, some bits of it, and I took a couple of photos as well. So I just um, and I never put it all together. It was like it was all a bit bitty. I was sort of um, I had a lot going on, so I was just. Um, sort of um, just kept forgetting to film or, or photograph stuff. But what I've done, I've just put together what um, what I've got on my phone, just sort of um, talk you through my thought process um, doing the mixed mystery box, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know below in the comments uh, what you think. I'll also link to the farm shop who do the mystery box. Hopefully they'll do another one, but they're delivering nationwide. Um, so have a look there, meat, veggies, um loads of um suppliers they've got on board there so go and have a look in the in the links below hello today i'm doing the farm shops uh mystery box challenge so you get a list uh we'll get a box full of stuff let's just grab the uh list here so you get a box full of stuff um don't know what it didn't know what it was um and now um need to cook something for it you can win an, a barbecue 500 quid's worth of barbecue so i'm putting a lot of effort into this i um I was going to do the unboxing of everything, but I just got home and I just sort of started opening it and thinking about it. And um, so I'm just going to sort of go through now where I'm up to. I'm not sure I'm going to film any more because I've got quite a bit going on. Um, but I just wanted to sort of show you where I was at, what I'm going to do. Um, so let me just, so what we've got, this is, these are the ingredients. We've got pork tenderloin, garlic, sweet potato, red onion, pak choy, aubergine, courgette, tomatoes, and oak seed, rape seed oil. That's the mellow yellow stuff. It's banging stuff you can add five things of your own so what i've decided to do i'm going two courses i'm going to do baba ganoush so i've got some of the garlic the aubergine um and some of the smoked oil so i'm going to roast the aubergine with the oil and garlic make a nice um nice bit of sauce out of that uh, and i'm going to top it with my one of my added ingredients which is some mixed nuts i've got here so that's going to go in the main as well um, and then they'll serve that with some bread that I'm going to uh, buy, which will be one of my additional ingredients as well. Um, then for the main, we're going to go, there's me workers out, doesn't, uh, um, doesn't make a lot of sense to anybody, I'm sure. In the oven, I've made it already. Um, I'll just show you it quickly. I've got a sweet potato and courgette um, rosti. So I'm baking that, cook it all the way through. Uh, so in there, it's got the sweet potato from the box, the courgette from the box, uh, and some of the garlic as well. So, um, and then it's got flour in, which is one of my additional ingredients. So I'm just going to roast that, let it cool a bit and press it, um, and then just sort of cut some sort of um, some nice squares or circles or something and then fry it again. So it'll get extra crisp and loads of flavor in it. Um, sauce wise, I'm going to um, peel and de-seed the tomatoes uh, and then I'm gonna blend it with some of the nuts, um, a bit of garlic again, some of the smoky oil and mint and parsley. So there are the two um, additional ingredients. Um, then what we've got, I'm gonna do a pack I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and char it. Um, so it's just nice and crisp and, and veggie. And then the tenderloin again, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna char it up because the sauce is gonna be quite, uh, it's gonna have loads of flavor in the sauce. Um, so I think that's gonna be enough and I've run out of additional ingredients. So I can't season it up with anything, can't spice it or anything like that. So I'll share some vid, uh, a vid or some photos of what, um, what we got to. I think I've covered everything. Um, okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so that's the end of the um, videos I did. So I'm just going to share some of these um, images with you. So we've got, first up, just the toasting of the nuts for the baba ganoush. Then this is the uh, sweet potato and courgette rosti. So you can see I've just, um, so after it was baked, I cut out the, the rounds um, and I'm frying them again. So you can see it gives them a lovely, um, sort of a, another texture, uh, just brings all those flavours out as well. So that's uh, it's a really nice touch to do. That there's the aubergine roasting with the garlic and the um, oat smoked rapeseed oil. And then that's the pak choy there. Um, so I've just, uh, I blanched it in a pan, just sort of stood up. So the root 
is cooked through, um, and then just sort of bring that out, let it let it dry off, uh, sort of steam off, and then I um, charred it both sides. So no oil in the pan, just get it, uh, just gets a nice bit of colour on. Again, it gives it a nice a nice flavour. Uh, it just sort of changes the flavour and the texture of it. Uh, it's worth a try. And then that's the baba ganoush there. So I've got the toasted bread underneath. I've got the baba ganoush that I made um, on top and then some uh, parsley, sort of picked parsley on top. And then those chopped toasted nuts on top of that. And then we're on to the main course. So this is just me sort of uh, just searing the pork in the pan. So a nice hot pan, get a nice bit of colour on it. And then we'll just um, put it in the oven just to, to finish off. You don't want to overcook pork too much about sort of uh, 63 65 degrees is is more than enough for it so um so yeah so i'll just sear it off and it'll probably take about five or six minutes in in uh in the oven got a scrape of the sauce um first on the plate and then the sliced pork just uh, on top of that the sweet potato and courgette rusty next to it and they just laid over the the uh, griddle pak choy so um so yeah it looks nice it was delicious it, i was really really pleased with the uh with the outcome of both courses so um and thanks for the farm shop for putting it on i'll put all the links below as i said so we'll um so you can have a look i'm sure they'll do do more um so but you know they're, they're open uh, for deliveries are open the shop in northampton welly road is open as well so um so go and have a little look all that stuff's there and a load lot more cheers